I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the October 2020 US SAT calculator section. College Board gives us a circle with a sector and a triangle, and they want to know the area, the shaded region, which is the area inside the sector but outside the triangle. And to do that, I'll find the area of a sector. And that would be the area of the circle, pi r squared, times the fraction of the circle, which is 60 degrees out of the 360 degrees. In general, it would be pi r squared times x degrees over 360 degrees. Since the radius of the circle is 4, that is 16 pi times 60 over 360 is 1 over 6, so that's 8 pi over 3. Now I need the area of the triangle, and I have an equilateral triangle with a base of 4 and two sides of 4. So looking at just the right triangle on the left, the height is given by the Pythagorean theorem as h squared plus 2 squared equals 4 squared. So h squared plus 4 equals 16. h squared equals 12 h equals root 12. We see our answers don't have a root 12, they have a root 3. So I'm going to write root 12 as root 4 times 3. So h equals root 4 times root 3. h equals 2 root 3. Now that I have the height of my right triangle, I'm sorry, I can look at the area of the full equilateral triangle. The area of the triangle is one half the base times the height, which is one half, the base is four because I'm looking at the whole equilateral triangle, and the height is two root three. One half times two is one, so the area of the triangle is four root three. So the shaded region is sector minus triangle, which is the sector was 8 pi over 3. I should have circled that to make it easier to find. And then the triangle is minus 4 root 3. But none of the answers are in that form. College board being college board factored out one third. So we still have the 8 pi. And then, if I factor a f one third out of four, I have 12. And checking that one third of eight pi is eight pi over three, one third of negative 12 root three is negative four root three. So that is correct, and that is choice D. If I was under time pressure or unsure of my geometry, I would at least know Hopefully that the sector is 8 pi over 3, but I have to subtract something from that, so A is wrong. And since I'm subtracting a triangle from the sector rather than the sector from the triangle, B is wrong. So at that point, we've got a 50-50 guess between choices C and D. And it is a calculator section. We could find numerical values of C and D and see if one of them seems more reasonable. That may not be the best use of your time if you're under time pressure. Just guess 50-50 once you know that it has to be 8 pi minus something in here. And come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.